I'm the Silvered Grunion, and thank you for joining me here as we play some fun arcade action known as Toki. It is the middle of the night. Of course, I'm recording this during the middle of a giant thunderstorm because of course I am. But I just had to get up early and play an exciting game. And what better game to play than the arcade remaster of Toki. I picked this up on Steam for just about $2. So we're going to see here if I can get my money's worth and make myself look like a jackass at the same time. Uh, these are not my, I'm no, I'm no expert, folks, but I'm going to try my best not to suck. Full disclosure, I am using a turbo controller, as you see right here, and we're playing on easy to try to alleviate some of the frustration that comes along with these arcade classics. Of course, again, this is a remake, but, uh, the difficulty level and the the arcade, the arcadeness, we'll call it, uh, has been ported over. This was a quarter muncher back in the day, and even though we're not putting any money in, this game still plays like it wants to empty our wallets. So, uh, so far, it's pretty faithful to the original. I do enjoy the the graphic style. It's kind of a combination of Hanna Barbera and maybe even some Don Bluth. Oof. What the hell was that? Alright, we gotta take out these things here. And now what? Ah, wait, there we go. Where do I go? Is there more up here? Aha, there we go. All right. Oh, I missed them. Okay. All right, I got it now. Uh, and I will say, too, you probably notice here that the, uh, the checkpoints are very forgiving. So I'll give them that at least. Uh, I'll cut them some slack on the difficulty. We are playing on easy, uh, but still, the game is a bit uh, on the difficult side. But I would, so far, I'd recommend it. It's actually pretty fun. It responds very well. And these steampunk monkeys just went down. All right, there we go. I like the uh, the the weapons. The power ups are kind of cool too. Very contra. Very contra. Drop down here. Ooh. Ah, I should have known. Uh, so hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. When I'm recording this, it's actually the 4th of July, so I'm not sure when uh, you will be listening to this, but hopefully you guys, whenever it is, hopefully you're having a good time. And today is kind of a momentous occasion for me, because it has been three years uh, since they said I would never speak again. I did have... Uh, some pretty severe cancer surgery uh, three years ago and they told me that I may not speak uh, for a long time I couldn't order food I couldn't I couldn't that was the worst you try to call you can order food I couldn't call a friend uh, did a lot of vocal therapy a lot of physical therapy and here we are I always said that if I could somehow muster the way to uh, put together a couple sentences that I would uh, stream some games so this is the first of hopefully many uh, throughout my, what I call my, my silence. My silence, uh, streamers and everything, was really what kept me sane. Because I'd sit here and I'd watch Twitch and I'd watch, uh, I'd listen to podcasts. And when you can't talk, all you can do is listen. So those are perfect. 
I could always add my two cents in by typing, but... Uh, so I, I said when, if I could ever speak again, I would try my best to, uh, to pay it back by, by streaming my own videos, and here we are. Not trying to get famous, not trying to get rich, just simply want to do something that I enjoy and share it with anybody who might want to watch. So thank you very much, and if you are watching, uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Silvered Grunion. I'm also on Facebook, I think that's a thing still. And, of course, YouTube as well. All right, here we go. I feel like this is going to be a, a boss battle. It's a little too quiet. Holy shit. What is that? Yikes. He's huge. He's gigantic. Aha. But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that's going to do it for stage one. Nice. So far, so good. Wow, the thunder and lightning is really getting strong outside. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the microphone. I love this map, by the way. It reminds me a lot of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. And it also gives you a real sense of progression. I, I really do feel like we're traveling to different locations. The story of this game is very simple. You're a monkey trying to rescue your girlfriend from a wizard. It's a bit more intricate than that, but that's all you need to know. And any time a monkey challenges a wizard for his hot girlfriend, I'm in. Can we go up here? Oh yeah, there we go. See that? These they were waiting. Can we get him? No. Yeah, so the, the storm outside is getting really bad. So I think we're going to play until we get to the first continue. You get nine lives. I think I have two more. So we'll play until uh, we, we'll play till we lose. I don't think we're going to play through the entire game because I really didn't take into account how bad the storm was outside. Of course, there's a hurricane going on. There's, it's wind. It was windy, but now I'm like, holy crap! Okay. Oh, there we go. Water level, water section. I love, uh, especially even in the original. Uh, this feels like a space shooter almost. The way his his body kind of goes long, and you're just floating through. It's almost like playing a, a an old school space shooter here, which I'm all about. It's pretty cool. That's the game I want to see. A monkey floating through space and spitting at other spaceships. Let's make that a thing. Oh, boy. What is that? Look at this boss. I mean, I knew Lindsay Lohan had fallen on some hard times, but holy crap, look at her. See ya! I'd be perfectly fine if the entire game was like this. This is actually kind of fun. But I like how they break it up. Like, each level kind of has different... Uh, you know, the first level was all platforming. This one here has the the water. So I do like so far, We it, it feels like there's a variety. I mean, I'm having fun. And fun is good. All right, we had another boss. All right, here we go. What the hell is that? Holy crap, that looks like something you'd see in your nightmares. Or on Craigslist. Holy shit. Ah, there we go. And that's going to do it for Stage 2. Feels like Stage 2 was shorter. <laughs> oh, 
Mm. Stage three, the Caverns of Fire. All right, I like this looks totally different from the last two. So again, the the game does a good job, even though it's an arcade game, and it, it does have its fair share of repetition. Uh, it does indeed do its best to keep it fresh, so that's good. So far, I'd say I got my $2 worth, which is good. Oh! All right, we got one more life. We're playing for keeps now. Ooh, close. Close, but no cigar. Got a key. Got a helmet. What we got here? Whoa! We were saved by the helmet. Now we got to jump over this. Ah! Ooh. All right. Oh, jump! 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 Ah! So close. All right, guys. There's our personal high score. And again, the storm outside is getting pretty bad. I'm going to cut this short. But uh, we're not going to continue for now. But thank you so much for joining me here on this kind of test stream. Um, I am the Silvered Grunion. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, we'll definitely be back. We're going to play more of this game. Because I'm digging what I see so far of Toki. So uh, until next time, folks. Again, I am the Silvered Grunion. And thank you so much for being part of my stream. All right. Have a good night. And we'll see you next time.